lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel thank you very much for your love and support as always i remain loyal if you're the first time you're coming across this channel this is agatha progress channel and i come across your way every blessed day as you know in this channel we react to all videos and in this channel as well all opinion is highly needed and is wonderfully welcome if you love what i do in this channel my love why don't you subscribe and join the family because for sure victory will remain ours all right my wonderful family i don't know how you felt about this video but i do hope you pick some sense from this video let me release it so we we'll watch it together and i will be right back very smart i'm going to quote and i want the world to listen i am dr Ike. The reason why I'm called Doc is because I understand from A to Z of everything that has to do with IPO, everything but none. And I want to tell you exactly what Mazen Nandekano said to us. Number one, Nandekano have been accused by the federal government of Nigeria that he sent his boys to go and kill police. That's a lie. I mean, that's a pure lie. I want the world to listen. And before I go into that, I want to say this. The world must change their narratives. And they must be careful of those they always go to get information from. Nigerian government have a favorite way, a strategic way of killing freedom fighters. And the way they do it, they will first blackmail you from there, they will proscribe you from there, they will murder you. And the reason why they do that, because they don't want the world to ask them questions. So the reason they are very in fact, they are very in haste, to prescribe IPOB is because of a day like this. It's because a day like that day, terrorists, uh, their counterparts in Kenya kidnapped Mazen Nandekano. He knew um, uh, their plan was to murder him. But to God be so kind, Mazen Nandekano with the spirit that lives in him, defeated all their plans. He raised a ram that they cannot control. They noticed that some people started filming and some people started taking pictures. So they were disgraced and their plans scattered. That was the reason why they decided to hand Mazen and the canoe over to their counterparts in Nigeria. I must tell you this. Nigeria government is the most lying government on this planet Earth. Quote me anywhere, and I will tell you why. Nigeria is the only country the citizens are suffering, but the president of there will tell you that all is well. Nigeria remains the only country that every citizen of Nigeria prays to travel out of Nigeria. The question is why? If you go to Afghanistan, Nigeria is there. If you go to Bangladesh, one of the poorest countries on this planet Earth, Nigeria is there. If you go to Mozambique, if you go to Togo, Nigerians are there. How many Mozambican do you know in Nigeria? It's Mozambique wealthier than Nigeria. Why then do your citizens decide to leave Nigeria and reside in Mozambique? It is a question. It is only in Nigeria that average citizen of Nigeria will tell you, instead of taking me back to Nigeria, jail me or murder me here only in Nigeria. 
but the president and the government of Nigeria will come out and tell you that Nigeria is working. Now you listen to me. Nigeria is working, right? Let's assume that Nigeria is working. How come you can't attend a medical uh, checkup in Nigeria? Why do you fly your family abroad for a medical checkup? Why is it that your children, they can't give their birth in Nigeria? Why is it that your children cannot school in Nigeria, but Nigeria is working? The world have to begin to tell themselves the truth. Somebody like me, I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. I believe and I knew that I may not live to enjoy what I'm rebelling for. If you come to South Africa today, some people believe, not just South Africa, all over the world, that you are this, you are that, because of their mindset. They are not intelligent enough. I wanted to mention the name of some people here in South Africa. Very gullible ones who cannot invest copper in our restoration, but they are busy saying that this person is a terrorist, or this person is a saboteur, or this person, is, but ask them to invest copper. They will not. It, it, they, the only thing they do is to spread fake news. That's the only job they do. They will not come in. They will not allow their products to come in. If you ask them to show their facts on Facebook, they will not. But they are very good to dictate who is a, who is a saboteur simply because they believe that you are more connected than they are. Simply because of envy next of a black man. Very, very sad. I mean very sad. If you look at them, when they see you coming, they see you as a threat. The reason why they see you as a threat is because they can't do what you're doing. Even if you give them the opportunity to do, they will not like. But when it comes to leaping, they will like to reap what they never saw. Now you listen to me. I want the world to understand every quote of Mazen and the Canada, and I will mention but few. Now, Nigerian government deceived Kenya government that Mazen and the Kano is a terrorist helping Al Shabaab to attack Kenya and Nigeria. And you believe it? And he was a Kenya minister or what used Nigeria or Zimbabwe, I, don't, I can used Nigeria as a joke. And you don't know that Nigeria is a joke. If, okay, do you think Donald Trump can open mouth to call common Mozambique sh shit all? Do you think it's possible for Donald Trump to open mouth to call Nigeria a shit all? You should understand better. But you refuse to. Now, let me tell you something. I understand that Kenya government, Kenya securities, I understand that you guys were deceived by Nigerian government. Because if, like, you guys know the truth, the truth would have set you people free. But you are in prison now. Because you will not blame anyone for your gullible reasoning and your common sense of articulating. Now, let me tell you something. Nigeria have murdered a lot and a lot of freedom fighters. They murdered King Salowiwa. They murdered Delegua, one of the finest finest generals ever. The murdered Gumi Ghana, I mean to say. The murdered Don Wani. The murdered 
Oh, my God, that's me. And this is how Nigeria do it. I want the world to understand. It is normal in Nigeria, the most lying tribe on this planet Earth are actually Nigerians. Nobody can lie like them. Ask, do your forensic, you will understand. Then, if ordinary citizens can lie like that, what about their government? Do you know Nigeria is the only place a politician will tell you that I'm coming to build this? When they have gone to the office, if they get into the office, they will not talk about it and nobody will have the right to ask them. Only in Nigeria. So it becomes the most lying country on this planet Earth. They lie, they, it, 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 no single throat there. And if you want to destroy Nigeria, you tell them the truth, Nigeria will be disintegrated. Nigeria will scatter. Nigeria never wants you to speak the truth. The reason why Nigerian government hates people like me is because they will never want me to speak the truth. Okay, let's take a look at this man called, not before I said, the world please i'm not trying to deviate if you relax if you take your time you will understand my lecture i will be taking it step by step and don't mind the way i speak i'm being so calm so that you may follow and you may understand me better if only you will watch the video without bias mind. Now you listen to me. To show you how gigantic and gargantuan Nigeria is in a lying world. Do you know there's a place, a state called Enugu State? Are you following? And I want the world CNN, BBC, and every other social media platform to investigate this. If it's a lie, I will give up my membership. Now, you listen. There's a place in Nigeria called Enugu State. And the governor of this Enugu State is called Iuguanyi. If you take a look at this Uguani physical appearance, he happened to be the most precious, the most innocent, decent, born again Christian on this planet Earth. Uguani actually know how to cry. If you kill his people, all he do is to cry. But do you know what Ubuani is busy doing? I have every document to prove what I'm saying. Ubuani is busy taking the land that people legitimately bought. Are you, are you listening to me? Ubuani, there's a man in Enugu State that I can't remember his name, but if I get his name, I will let you know. This man suffered and labored for almost 30 years in America. Are you following? After all these years in America, this man came back, I don't know, not with much. But there is ancestral land that this man inherited. It is inheritance. Then, Ubuani, listen to me, uh, you know, what I'm trying to prove to the whole world to understand how Nigeria operates. I am Dr. Kenda. I am a man of throat. I am a man of honor. I am well respected by my people. My words are like a million or total. If you have any woman close to you, 
you ask the person the meaning of million or total. Open na be one one, and if you take your time, you will understand them. Now let let's go there. Who are they that I'm talking about? Ask every other politician. Ask the political class in Enugu State. They will tell you that Ubuani is the most.